12 by 50, then brake, and then 12 by 50, pull, no paddles. See how it goes. Woo! by 50, pull done. Woo. Heart race to the roof. Work got done, shout out to Carrie for helping me film that. <laughs> 35 next time. 35. Yeah, we'll hit some 35s next time. 36s today, uh, 37s. I'm about to go cool it down. And uh, yeah, hit the sun after this. You got it. Woo, shout out AquaFit. <laughs> Knocked out that swim workout. Now it is time to go to work. But really quickly, you guys see that? That's snow. Can you believe that? November, snow on the ground. This is absurd. I'm not a fan of the snow. Uh, well, actually, I don't mind the snow. I just don't like the cold. I hate being cold. Cold sucks. But at least it won't be cold at work. <laughs> But yeah, good uh, swim this morning. That's pretty much all we have planned for today. Probably just an easy spin in the afternoon. And then tomorrow we got race prep bike and a race prep run. Run is done and dusted. Just, ooh, that is bright. Oh boy, it is cold. Luckily I don't live too far from the apartment complex gym. Um, but yeah, just steady six miles, few intervals at race pace, nothing crazy. Before that, we had the uh, race prep bike. Also pretty, pretty easy, nothing too bad. Just uh, want to make sure the legs don't forget what race power feels like um it's actually the following day from yesterday <laughs> from that swim workout and now i'm gonna go back to my apartment if i don't freeze and i'm gonna show you guys um packing kind of what i take to an ironman race it's gonna be a little different because i'm actually going right from this race to florida to visit my grandmother for thanksgiving so I'm going to be taking a bit more stuff than usual, but I'll make sure to show you guys everything that I take, I need with me for an Ironman. Well, here it is. This is pretty much everything I will be taking with me to Ironman Arizona. Now what I'm going to do is actually I'll bring all this onto a table and give you guys a bit more of an in-depth description what all this stuff is and then it's gonna have to fit in there somehow so i'm just gonna go through all this in the same order that a triathlon does i'll start off with the swim then i'll go on to the bike the run and then i'll probably do nutrition and miscellaneous stuff after all that is done but first off what i actually do is i have a list of everything i need to pack for a race and so when a race comes up I don't really have to think about if I have it all. I just have to go through, check everything off of that list. And well, if I've checked everything off of that list, then I know I have everything. And usually every race I add one or two things. So I would highly recommend making your own list and maybe even watching this video before your next race. And so you know what to pack for your next triathlon race. Oh, speaking of which, if you wanna see more videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. But in a triathlon, first up is the swim. And so what I have here is my wetsuit bag. And in this wetsuit bag, I have, well, my wetsuit. Well, duh. And now normally I'd also pack my swim skin, but since the water temperature is currently 62 degrees in Arizona, I don't think I'm gonna be needing that. 
And then along with the wetsuit, I also of course have my goggles right here. And in here I have also two swim caps because especially when it's cold, I like to have a swim cap and then a pair of goggles and then another swim cap. Oh, also pro tip, I've always packed two pairs of goggles, a light pair and a dark pair. I think I have a dark pair somewhere in here. But yeah, pack two pairs of goggles and if you want two swim caps. I think that's all I have in swim bag. Now moving on to a few more swim stuff. This kind of swim miscellaneous stuff. I just keep it with all my swim stuff. So in here, this is actually a lens cleaning kit. So I use this for the swim and the bike, which I will get to next. But in here we just have, I'll show you actually. I got this on Amazon. Just a few tools to clean the lens of the goggles and my bike visor. So I always make sure to take this with me so it doesn't fog up. Um, shaving cream, nothing really to do with the swim stuff. I just keep it in here. This is when I shave my legs two nights before the race. Don't shave your legs the night before the race because if you cut yourself, then you're gonna be bleeding the whole race. So yeah, shave my legs two nights before the race. And then here, this is body lube <laughs> um let's see what do we have in here we have some tri slide i use this before i put my wetsuit on just to help put it on and then also take it off and then we also have some body glide very important i think i'm actually running trying to run low i'm gonna have to restock on body glide put this where you chafe so you don't chafe and then we also have some what's this um Oh, also more lens cleaning stuff. And I think we have some sunscreen in here as well. Yeah, right here. Some sunscreen. So this is kind of the, yeah, body lotion bag. And then we have one more baby powder, which I put in my shoes, my running shoes before a race. So I'm not sure why it's with the swim stuff, but oh well. Um, yeah, so baby powder, shaving cream, body lube stuff. Now moving on to the bike. So my actual bike is already packed right over there. You guys can't see it. If you guys want me to do an entire video of how I pack my bike, let me know in the comments down below. I can make that happen. After all this stuff, I'll show you guys a quick little preview of what my bike looks up packed up. But here we have one of the most important, if not the most important part to the bike, because you really can't do a triathlon without this is the helmet. So this is my helmet. As you guys can see, it's got some nice stickers on there. Helped me look cool during the bike. Um, and my visor that I was talking about that I use all the lens cleaning stuff. So this has its own case for itself. So it's gonna break. Ew, ew, ew. And also what I do, and you might wanna do as well, pack two visors if you use a visor because it has happened to me that my visor is cracked. So now I always travel with two visors, uh, the one that's on my helmet, and then I have a backup one that's already packed away. Helmet done. Now pretty much the rest of the bike stuff is just clothes. So here we have a bike jersey. This is all for the, like, the days before the race, or as I mentioned, since I'm gonna be going to Florida, I'll probably be biking there. So this is to wear on the bike, bike bib, long sleeve in case it gets cold and then another bike bib i'm taking two bike bibs two bike jerseys and these are actually from my coach which i will probably be using these are actually arm warmers and a long sleeve more of a thermal kind of jacket so as you can see this is actually nice and uh fuzzy <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it but yeah so this is a bit warmer than the other long sleeve i have so depending on the weather on race day i'll either probably take the less warmer one or this one or just the short sleeve and arm sleeves and last but not least we have the bike shoes now yeah just regular bike shoes or triathlon bike shoes and then i do have the toe covers on top i just keep them on because well my toes are never too warm i've never been in a race where my toes have been too warm um, and plus i've also heard that they're a bit more aerodynamic with the toe covers on i don't know whatever it may be but i'm trying to get every watt that i can so that's why i keep the toe covers on bike is done now moving on to the run and this one's even 
simpler than the bike. All I really have uh, two pairs of shorts. Well, one pair of shorts and a pair of running tights. Pretty much all my running gear comes from 10,000. Well, all my training gear comes from 10,000. If you want to check them out, I'll have a link down in the description box below along with the discount code. I believe it's Kurt15, but yeah, it'll be linked in the description box below. So I'm only taking these two things with me. I do have some shirts and stuff, but I don't think it'll be cold enough that I'm gonna need a shirt while I'm running. And plus I'm going to Florida after that. So yeah. Um, now moving on, these are not my race shoes. These are just kind of my walking around everyday shoes and also uh, my shoes that I'll use before the race and after the race in Florida. These are the Nike Pegasus. I'm a huge Nike guy, as you'll see. Uh, Nike Pegasus 38s. They got a few hundred miles on them, but yeah, still got some time left. Now on to the race shoes. So here we have the Nike Alpha Fi version one and i did originally buy the second versions of the alpha 5 however ah uh, they were a bit hard to put on and plus i wanted to have one more very good last run in these before i retire them so i'm hoping i'm truly hoping that i can retire them after iron man arizona the goal is to go sub three hours and if that happens then i will be retiring these and plus I think it's the last race that I can wear these. These already have like 150 miles on them. So they are definitely getting near the end, but I do have two of them. And of course the quick draw laces on there, the triathlon laces. And then I do have my running hat. And now I only wear this hat during races because you see this hat from that triathlon life, it's actually signed. You can see right there by Eric and Paula. And I think, did Nick? No, Nick did not sign this. He signed a different hat. But yes, Eric and Paula did sign this hat. So I only wear it on race day. I think that's all with the run. Oh, I also have a race belt that I wear during a run, but I keep that in my bag, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But yeah, it's pretty much it. Shoes and shorts, which I don't even wear on the race. Oh, speaking of hats and race hats, I'll also be bringing this bucket hat which actually if you guys can see nick g did sign he's the other guy to that triathlon life but yes nick signed this so i probably won't wear this during the race but uh i like to bring it with me i'll definitely be wearing it in florida now moving on to what i use for kind of i guess all three events um here is my tri bib or tri singlet i don't know what to call this but it's what i wear for the triathlon so so what it looks like it says going more has my last name on it and this is actually signed by heather jackson if you guys uh haven't guessed i like to get my signed my sign my stuff signed by everyone i can find so this is signed by heather jackson she signed she shined she she, she signed this at the 2021 Ironman World Championships and also Nick G also signed also saying also too much <laughs> Nick also signed there it goes again Nick signed this as well there we go so I got the try thing that I wear during the triathlon and this is my transition mat now I don't use this for all triathlon races only the races that share a T1 and TT or the races that we can go back to T1 because if you can't go back to transition one after the race, well then, yeah, this is gonna be lost. But what this is, it's pretty much just a mat I put under my bike and it does kind of two things. The first thing it does is it's easy to dry my feet off after the swim. And the second thing, and probably actually the most important thing is that it makes my bike, my bike spot much more obvious to me. So when I'm running through transition, I don't have to look too hard to find my bike. All I just have to do is find where this mat is so yeah that's why i use this i still have to figure out who my inspiration is <laughs> maybe i should put my name on there as well but that's that and now kind of last part to this part um is all my garmin stuff so i leave all of it in a garmin bag or yeah i guess it's a bag so i have my bike computer in here this is the edge 1040 solar and then I also have an old watch. This is actually my Phoenix 6. I'll be wearing the Epics during the race, hopefully. 
but if for some reason, I don't know, leading up to the race, it crashes, battery dies, whatever reason, I can't get it to work, I have this watch as a backup. And then we have chargers for the watch and the bike computer, and of course, heart rate strap. Same thing with the watches. I have the new HRM Pro Plus, and I have the old HRM Pro, just in case, as I mentioned, something happens with the uh, Pro Plus, then I can swap it out and use the Pro. They're both very good. Uh, I use Garmin for all my technology needs. I think they're the best out there. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, now I'll probably do, let's see, what should I do next? Oh, one more thing for the bike, I almost forgot. Bike pump. I would highly recommend bringing your own bike pump and if you have a disc wheel, bring a crack pipe. So no, you don't smoke crack out of the crack pipe. For those of you that don't know, a crack pipe is a little attachment you put on to the end of the pump and then it allows you to pump up a disc wheel. I'll show you guys in my triathlon bag. Speaking of which, maybe I'll show you guys that next. This is my triathlon bag. I pretty much only use this for races. I never really unpack it when I get home. So I have a bunch of stuff in here that I keep to make sure that I always have some very important stuff. Let's see, I'll go through the top and then I'll work my way down. So first up, if I can, oh, my wallet, which is very important. <laughs> and then these are batteries for bike pedals. Um, yeah, last race, my pedals died right before the race. So I was scrambling around trying to find some. So now I'm always gonna be keeping these in here. And then I also think if I can find them, I have, yep, cash. <laughs> but these are batteries for a heart rate monitor. So if my heart rate monitor does die, then I have some backup. But I think that's pretty much all in this pocket. In this pocket right here, don't have too much of importance, just uh, extra charger for my phone and stuff. Nothing triathlon related though. But then moving on to the main bag, I guess. Um, oh, another hat that's been signed by Heather Jackson and Nick. I'm still trying to get some more people to sign my stuff. Um, oh, this pocket is good. So in here, I actually haven't used this before. I'm gonna be trying it out uh, well, I won't try it at the race. I'll try it before the race, but this is actually a portable bike pump. It's electronic. And so you take this out and then this screws into here like this, and then you turn it on and yeah, you pretty much take it with you anywhere. So I'm gonna be trying it out at this race. So next time I don't have to bring that huge bike pump, but for now, since I still haven't tested it out, I am gonna bring my old bike pump just in case this doesn't end up working. And then I have two headlamps with me. Why do I need headlamps? Well, for I hope I don't need them for the actual race, um, but these are for transition in the morning when I'm setting everything up, so I don't need to use my phone light. I can just pop one of these on. Um, yeah, and then these are actually connected right now by some, what's it called? Uh, not scotch tape, uh, Velcro. I, for some reason, I always need Velcro at these races, whether it's to Velcro something together, or I don't know why, but I just keep an extra roll of Velcro in here um oh another i actually have another heart rate strap in here this is my i think this is a yeah this is the original hrm try so i just always keep it in here and then uh, massage ball i take this with me to all my races turn it on there we go and then it vibrates like that and has different settings so take that with me i have a bunch of other recovery tools actually I might do a video going over all their recovery tools I have. Um, I think that would be actually pretty interesting. Oh, speaking of recovery tools, I think I'll also take this with me. I haven't taken it with me to a races before. I actually just picked it up. And what it is, it's a cupping thing. So it's, I think, electronic. So you turn it on. And then what's cool is it uses red light therapy and it has some buttons so you can actually adjust how much suction it uses so you can put this on your shoulders your legs whatever you want for a race and so you can adjust two things the amount of suction it uses and also the intensity of the red light and the heat if you guys want to pick some of these up i'll have an affiliate link down in the description box below as well but yeah i think i'm going to take this with me just because it's so light doesn't take up much space and if i'm feeling tired or something before the race 
I can pop this on and it just helps get a much deeper stretch when I use this. So yeah, I'll probably pack this with me. Now a few other things I have in here, this bag might fall off. Um, I have, I'll show you guys the crack pipe, what I was talking about. See, this is a crack pipe. It attaches to the pump and then use this part right here to pump up a disc wheel. And then I have a bunch of bobby pins in here. I always need bobby pins for some reason. Uh, scotch tape. I, I'm actually gonna be using this to tape on the gels to my bike. I'll actually go over nutrition after this. But yeah, this is just scotch tape to tape everything on. Uh, I think I have some rubber bands in here as well. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I needed them in the past for some reason. I never took them out. My USA triathlon card, take that with me. Oh, a Sharpie so people can sign my stuff. <laughs> and then what else? Oh, a shoehorn. Now you may be asking yourself, Parker, why do you need a shoehorn? Take one of these and put them in your T2 bag next time. You will thank me later. It makes transition to T2 so much faster. So I just have this mini shoehorn. I've used this, I think, for all my races. Although one time, this was during an Olympic, uh, thankfully. But I guess I was, I was using the shoehorn and I forgot to take it out of the shoe. And so I ran, I kid you not, I ran the entire 10K with this shoehorn in my shoe. And I got to like mile three or mile four. And I was like, huh. My, my shoe, it doesn't feel right. And then I realized what was going on, but I thought, you know, I only have like three miles left. So I just ran, plus I didn't want to lose this. So I just ran the rest of the three miles with this shoehorn in my shoe. Um, yeah, so if you do use the shoehorn, make sure to take it out. But I think lastly in this bag that's of importance is my race belts. I think, I, yeah, I have two. Um, I think I got this one because I was going to try it out. But then this is actually one that my coach told me about. And what I like about this so much is that the pocket is so big. So you can fit quite a few gels in here and salt tabs. And actually, here's a salt tab for my, <laughs> for my last race. But you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. So I'll use this one primarily for races. Maybe if it was a shorter race, I'd go with this. If I just needed one salt or one gel or something like that. But I think that does it for the bag. Um, yeah, but I will show you guys my nutrition next. No, this is not what my Thanksgiving dinner is going to look like. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be using for the race. So I guess first up, we'll go with this. This is beetroot powder, orange flavor. Oh, all this nutrition stuff I get, well, most of this nutrition stuff, all the gels and this beetroot powder I get from the feed. What I love about the feed is, as you'll see later, you can buy a bunch of single serving gels from different brands and different flavors. So you can try out a bunch of different stuff and see what works best for you. I'll have a link to them down below as well. But yeah, this is beetroot powder. Does it do anything? I don't know, but people say it does and it's legal, so I take it. Um, so I'll be taking this with me and then also, um, this is just, no, this is not any illegal substances. This is just protein powder. This, no, this is actually strong foods. This is strong foods from G1M, from G1M, from Bear Performance Nutrition. I do have G1M right here, which is the carb mix from Bear Performance Nutrition. And I also have electrolytes from Bear Performance Nutrition. So I will be using these two during the race and I will be using this before and after the race and as you guys can see i did close it with a ziploc but i made sure to double double close it double ziploc it with this clip right here you can never be too safe but i also do have an affiliate link with bear performance nutrition which will also be linked just make sure to check out the description box i'll have links for everything this is just plain oatmeal i don't have an affiliate link for oatmeal <laughs> if i do though it will be down there i'll probably actually finish this up i'll have this as a pre-race dinner this is more carbs this is honestly just a big thing of cereal i'll have some of this before the race quick energy probably the morning of and the night before i'll have some of this cereal and i know my dad or mom will munch on this as well although he might not like this too much i think this is actually i think this is oh this is a trick tracks with marshmallows if you guys want to see a review of that cereal check out the fast foodies YouTube channel, my other food YouTube channel, but I'll be taking this with me, these two, and then gel-wise, 
we have, so I put everything into different baggies. So this first gel is, <laughs> first gel, this first baggie is gels with caffeine. Now I don't plan on taking all these during the race, but I just like to have different options that I can choose from when I'm getting everything ready, whatever sounds good to me at the time. So yeah, all the gels in here do have caffeine in them. And then these gels, well, they don't have caffeine. And as you guys can see, loads of different brands and flavors. I've tried all these before, and these are just some of my favorites. So I got all these from the feed as well. Some, if you guys want me to do a video of what my favorite nutrition stuff is, then comment down below, but I'll take these with me. And then more nutrition stuff. These are energy food gels, not gels, energy food. Um, yeah, just energy food stuff. So, I take this, I'll probably have some of this like the breakfast of the race, so the right before the race starts and when I'm walking to the swim start. I have like four of them or like four or five different packets of stuff in here. I'll probably only need two, but as I said, I like to have options. Oh, honey stinger waffles, not just honey stinger waffles, but I have a few different waffles. These RIP Van Waffles, Rip Van Waffles are delicious. I always have one or two waffles for breakfast before the race. And I think that's pretty much it. This right here, this is just different single serving nut butter packets. And then I also have some other oatmeal. Now this oatmeal, this is actually from Creatures of Habit. And what's cool about this oatmeal, it's not just oatmeal, it has different seeds and stuff. So you get a bunch of different energy sources and it has some extra protein in there. So I think one packet has 30 grams of protein. How many carbs? 40 grams of carbs, 350 calories. So you get a bunch of different good stuff in there. I also have an affiliate link from them. Which, and I have a discount code, I think. So that'll be down below. I've tried a few of the different flavors, but for this race, I'll be bringing chocolate. And of course, we need to eat all that food. And for that, we got this stuff. So um, I got, this is a mixing thing. So I take this with me to races just so it's easier to mix the G1M and the electrolytes in my bottles. I have a spoon. I know you can get spoons at hotels, but I just like my long spoons. So that's why I'm not taking a fork or a knife with me since I'll get those there. And then I have a bowl, uh, kind of bowls and a plate. So all this is going with me. And I think that's pretty much it. All the rest of the stuff you guys saw at the very beginning of the video, those were all just clothes that I'm taking with me. Nothing too interesting. Oh, actually here. This may be of interest. I have this Amp Human Lotion. It's uh, supposed to help you perform and recover. So I'll take two of these packets with me, put them on before the race with my sunscreen and all that stuff. And then of course, my socks. These are all from Outway. Yes, I do have a link from them as well and discount code down below so i'm taking these socks i still haven't um decided which socks i'm going to wear for the actual race themselves i know it'd be one of these i'm kind of leaning towards either the goat socks greatest of all time or actually i think i might go with these you see these are actually i think they're uh, like desert fox and since arizona is kind of in the desert i think these are the socks i'm going to be going with but never know or actually maybe these these are cool, like lava socks. It's, actually, it's not gonna be hot, so probably not these. Um, but yeah, those are the socks I have. I'll take those with me. Oh, and then I also have my s'more socks, which I actually just picked these up. These are a new drop. I'll be taking these with me as well. And shirts, two pretty cool shirts that I think are cool at least. My fast foodie shirt for all the reviews I'm gonna be doing with my good friend, Ryan, who got me this shirt and I then made better <laughs> but I'll be taking these two shirts with me and I'll also be doing reviews with rest of my other great friends Andrew Jules will all be out there very excited to see them speaking of Jules you should definitely check out her triathlon YouTube channel I'll have it linked I'm gonna have so many links down there but I think she's actually gonna be doing like a race week series um I tried doing that for my last race in St. George Half Ironman World Championships but man, that took a lot out of me. So I'm not gonna be doing that for this race, maybe in a, for a future race, but I just wanna focus entirely on the race. So I think that this is actually gonna be the last video I post between now and the race. I'll have a whole race recap after it, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything I pack with me for a triathlon besides all my other clothes that isn't super interesting. But yeah, I'll show you guys the bike box. This is actually Bike Box Allen. Now I don't have a discount code for them, but uh, I really do like this box. It's a little bit more expensive, but man, it's hard shell. And I mean, if you're transporting an expensive bike, then I would definitely not skimp on the bike box. But I'll open this up and show you guys what it looks like. There's the bike, all nice and packed up. If you guys want me to go over how I pack it, let me know. But the wheel, the disc wheel is right there. And then there's the front wheel. And you can actually pack one more wheel inside of here, but I'm just gonna bring those two. And then this bag, this is actually just a bag of everything and everything bike related. So my pedals are in here, bike charger. Yeah, some more batteries in here. Um, sealant, I have a pedal wrench, uh, bike tool. Yeah, so pretty much anything that I'm gonna need for my bike, I keep with my bike. And then also in here, I'm not too sure where it is, I think somewhere in here, but I also have an Apple AirTag, which I would highly recommend picking up so you always know where your bike is. But yeah, I think that pretty much does it for everything I take with me to a triathlon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. If I forgot anything, let me know also. Well, it's gonna be too late for this race, but for my next race, then I can bring it with me, but yeah, I'm gonna go finish putting this all away and I'll see you guys after Ironman Arizona. Woo! Let's get it. Oh, another hat I'm gonna be taking with me. The NVDM coaching hat. Sadly, this does not have any signatures yet.